Hello everyone, Lemon Vapes, back here again for our first scheduled video. So, um, today we are going to be reviewing a product that I have had since I started getting into mechanical mods. And the reason why I didn't review this sooner is because it took up a lot of courage to review this product because of how bad it is. Now, when I first got it, I didn't think otherwise because, you know, first mod, whatever, I didn't know what to compare it to. But now that I have other mods, and I'll give you that full story after, I realize how like bad I first started vaping at comparatively. This is the Chiyu clone. Now, you know, I have nothing against clones because I own a few, this being one of the two that I have, and three, sorry, three that I have, and, um, you know, there are a lot of clones out there that are better than the original mods, and I have never actually tried an authentic Chi Yu, but I think the authentic Chi Yus go for around $200 or something like that, around like 150 to 200 is what I'm guessing because that's normally what clone what uh mods go for anyway authentics and there's no way that theirs could be as bad as this there's just no way because of how popular they are it doesn't make any sense so um what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up close i'm gonna show you what this looks like and then we will come back out and we will talk on it and we'll vape on it all right so this is the chi yu clone so um, first things first, I will show you all the designs on here. One of the main reasons why I do not like this, aside from how it hits, is the designs on here and how it completely copied the original. Now, that's one of the issues about clones is, you know, I don't support the ones that completely rip off the, uh, the, you know, people that make them, or the, or the authentics, um, but... Yeah, so let's just go through this. I want to get through this as fast as possible. So, there's the serial number. And, yeah, so it's it's a serial number with a design here. I assume that says Chiyu. I'm not sure. I don't speak that language <laughs> just, or read it. Just says asshole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, down here, there's a bunch of pictures of dragons, I think. Or lions, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Sorry to whoever I'm disrespecting right now. Um, and on the bottom, it says Style of Mojo, and then Version 2013. And then it shows like this little design right here. That's on the bottom. And then it has like the little design that's on all the Chiyus right here. Now, the thing about this that I don't appreciate about clone, about this clone is the fact that they put a, um, they put the actual name of the company on there, uh, version 2013, and the serial number. You know, I actually wouldn't think this was as bad if it hit just as good as the authentic and not just had the designs just like the authentic, but sadly that's not how it is. So, next thing I will show you is the, uh, starting from top to bottom. I'll put that over there. Here is the button. Uh, sorry, not the button. The, uh, 510 connection. So, as you can see, it has a 510 connection, and it looks like there's ego threading on there as well, but there is not. It's just a little down a whole thing. I'm not sure what it's there for. Um, and then this ring right here, this ring that I'm twisting right now, lowers and raises to open up the airflow right here, these three little holes in case you don't have airflow on your atomizer. And on the bottom, it has one of these... Um, different, you know, um, th you know, um, little pins that you can adjust for your battery rattle. And also, that's what the smaller pin does, and the bigger pin makes it so you can adjust your atomizer to be flush, and that does work, because it is a floating pin. Okay, so done with that. So these are the two that came, that I have right now, and this makes it so it fits in 18650. Sorry that I don't have all the parts, but... I haven't used this in a really long time and I probably accidentally Use threw them away or something. 
He's accidentally using it right now. I'm act yes, I'm using all of the pieces. So, um, next is next up is the button, which I am trying to get off. <laughs> it's not the best designed. Um, now this button is just a, your generic normal button. I don't know really know what to describe, but there is a, a hole there for ventilation just in case your battery starts leaking, and a pin. Let me check if this is. Um, let me check if this pin or the button goes out at all. I don't think it does, but I tried undoing this a while ago and it didn't work, but um, yeah, so it didn't work a while ago, but it, it does move. So I assume that the Chiyu original does have a uh, removable button, but this one does not seem Ooh. to. <coughs> that was dry. And I think it's magnets in there. It doesn't feel like a spring, and it's a pretty decent throw. But the one thing that I do have to complain about the aesthetics and just what the, is the material that they made the body out of. Um, it's some sort of stainless steel, I believe, but it's very slippery. It's very slippery, and it, and it your oils from your skins from your skin holds onto it. So <laughs> oil from your skins. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to go back out into normal view and we will vape on it, sadly. Alright guys, we are back. Uh, while I was doing that up close part, Alex was re-wicking his Patriot clone. And if you guys are curious, I am vaping this on my authentic Patriot. And the next video we are going to be doing is a Patriot authentic vers versus the Patriot clone. So, uh, I'm going to vape on this a bit and let Alex talk about it. Okay, honestly, uh, Tommy isn't lying, it is a sack of crap. So, I mean, when we first got it, it was a big step because, you know, it's your first mod. You're always going to remember that. You're always going to enjoy it and hopefully you end up getting a one that's decent. Like, I picked up the Inzonic, which was... I look back on it now and it's not as amazing, but it's still a good hitter and it's still nice. Telescoping. And this is just... What's the best way of putting it? There's no words for it. I mean, personally, like, there are worse mods. Like, we're not saying that this is the worst thing. And give it, given it is a clone, so with clones, it's, you know, hit or miss. You're not going to find every clone to be amazing or every clone to be bad. But basically, I got this back, what, January? I think in January, yeah. And after I got this, I had this for, like, three or so weeks, and I got this from Vapor Bar LA. Nothing against them. They make great juices. I'm vaping on some of their juice that I picked up when I got this also. Um, and so I picked this up from them and I used it for about three weeks. And then I found Majestic Vapes and I talked to Brian and he's like, hey, I got a few uh, Pegasus is, is, is coming in. And I was like, oh, cool. What's a Pegasus? And he's like, oh, it's like an all copper mod. So I picked up the Pegasus from here, right here. And you know, going from the Chiyu to the Peg Chiyu clone to the authentic Pegasus, you don't really notice much of a difference. But then when you go back to the Chiyu, that's when you really do notice that the Pegasus is so much better. Superior. Yeah. Uh, this Patriot is at about 0 0.6, 0 0.7, wrapped with 28 gauge. I'm just not happy with this, and this is probably going to be the last time I pick this up <laughs> for a while. He's not lying, he hasn't touched it. I haven't touched it since I got the Pegasus. Like, it's literally just been in various drawers. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't explain it. Like, I want to see you again! And yeah, okay, another thing. I just I just took the, the uh, Patriot off and put it onto my Pegasus, put it back on here without adjusting anything. Battery rattle. These pins adjust themselves to work against me. So it's like a coup against Tommy Marcus. Because it knows what we're doing right now. Yeah, it's it's like it's like you're gonna make me sound bad and I'm gonna make you sound even worse. Okay. Anyway. Um <laughs> Yeah, like Tommy. Yeah. Vapes can talk. <laughs> uh one of the other issues that I do have with it, amongst others, is the fact that this the locking mechanism, it um it sticks to the actual threads of the of taking the button off. So I have to hold down this part right here 
and then twist it myself. Sometimes I get this really stuck and I have to like do like really weird evasive maneuvers to get rid of it, which uh, I'll let your minds think wildly of what I have to do. But um, yeah, so um, that's the Chiyu clone. Um, you know, I didn't want to do a video of this originally because I didn't want to review a bad product, but, you know, the whole, point of, the whole point of the reviews is to, you know, get our opinions out there and state Inform whether we guys. like or whether we don't like mods, so we're just advising you what to buy if you're planning on buying one or what to not to buy if you were planning on buying that in the first place. And even more battery rattle. Okay. Wiggle with it. Um, do, 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 do. Wiggle with it. Yeah, so just a picture, like a thing. The, that's not the vapor that this thing should be producing at all. So, uh... It's, ju it's doing it just because it's the video. Yeah, exactly. You want um, to show them the holes that you drilled out? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, these are just... <laughs> what? They're just eighth holes. They're One gigantic. Holes. They're pretty average for, like, cloud chasing and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so, um, that's the video. Um, I hope you enjoy this picture of a chicken. Okay, good, you're back. Okay, um, yeah, we're done. And we are Lemon Vapes, and this device has just been sutrist.